Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. I'm Velmore. Today's recipe comes from the Overwatch cookbook and the Mexican hacker Olivia Colomar, aka Sombra. A traditional Mexican soup and comfort food for Sombra. This is Sopa Azteca. Let's get started. And for this recipe, I am going to dice an onion, mince some garlic, and remove the stem and seeds from some dried pasilla peppers. Now into my pot, I'm going to add my onion and my garlic. I'm just going to stir that up for a minute and let it start to get fragrant. Now I'm going to put in my chili, chicken stock, some oregano, and some epizote, which is a Mexican herb that is, as far as I can tell, similar to oregano and cilantro. And I'm going to stir that in. And I am going to bring this to a boil. So I seem to have found an editing issue in the recipe because I'm sitting here looking at a can of diced roasted tomatoes and the recipe doesn't tell me to put them in. I'm going to use my knowledge that I have from cooking and say those should probably go in now. And I'm going to stir and like I said, I'm going to let that come up to a boil. Though Olivia made it through the Omnic crisis, she was left an orphan by the ordeal. Though during this time, she was able to build her skills with computers and hacking. This allowed her to survive and thrive, and led her to join Los Muertos, a gang who consider themselves revolutionaries, fighting government corruption, and the devastation they have inflicted on the people during the recovery after the Omnic Crisis. This would lead to her becoming the premier hacker around the world though she focuses these efforts on anti-government and anti-corporation acts. So while my soup is cooking up, I am going to fry some tortilla strips. And I'm just gonna let them cook up for about a minute until they get golden brown. So I'm not sure if it's another oversight or just the way they decided to make this recipe, but I noticed that in the picture in the book, as well as pictures and recipes I looked up to confirm this on the internet, this soup should be blended. Ideally, I would have done this after getting everything to a boil and before letting it boil for about 20 minutes. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna wing it now and uh, blend this up. To get this ready to serve, I'm going to start with some queso fresco, avocado, sour cream, my fried tortilla strips, and a squirt of lime juice. So I feel this was quite an amazing soup. The peppers aren't hot. They add a nice smoky, earthy flavor with just a touch of sweetness mixed wonderfully with the acid from the tomatoes and just very well seasoned. And I stand by my decision to blend it. Like I said, I believe that just was a step omitted from the recipe and the crunchy tortilla makes for just a great texture change and really finishes this off. I hope you've enjoyed. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at chef underscore Velmore. The links will be in the description below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and come on back next week for another recipe.